All right, I'm gonna try to be quick here. Uh, I've been trying to figure out my ADC for a little while now. One thing that I finally come to feel I am confident that this is where I want it to be is the my wallet. Um, I, f I found this company called Antigear. They're made here in the US. They have this great modular kind of system with included that includes a holster, which can slide into the wallet. It is incredibly minimalistic when it's just carrying cards and cash, which I like because I can carry it independently. Um, this sleeve, this holster, not only does it carry the two items that I need the most, but I can even slot a um, Altoids tin right in here and then use that as a secondary component in my other pocket. I wanted something I can carry the Victorinox manager in, something I have to be with all the time. It's my most important EDC carry because it has a pen and it has the best complement of tools I've ever seen on the multi-tool. And these components pretty much are irreplaceable with any size multi-tool. And then of course I just rec received this. This is a Mech Army XS7. It is a lighter but it is also a flashlight very small one and up to 150 lumens plenty powerful it is also USB rechargeable which is wonderful um, the remaining parts of it have been kind of up in the air um, I've been using my Ford Focus so I have this small key so that part I could actually put in the back of this wallet it's designed to carry keys in fact but it's very bulky and I would like to find a new solution um, we're still working on that. So one thing I wanted to find with is, is a multi-tool I could carry. And this right here is something I've been playing with. It is a modified Leatherman core. It has a series of components in it. I've pretty much jammed it packed, I think, as much as you can. There is a blade, a flat head slash pry bar, the all. One thing from I got from the the I'm sorry Super Tool 300 EOD, which is the T Shank Exchanger, and then I'm actually able to fit not not just the file but also the saw right there, all of which came from the core, and then on the other side, I was able to fit both the ex bit exchanger and a what do you call it? Bottle can opener. Um, the reason this is possible is I am using a, what, what can you call it? Essentially, these are components from the Leatherman Charge. They change the diameter of the hole from what it uses normally with the plier head to the smaller 316, uh, 3 16 of an inch uh, pivot. And the core being the same dimension all the way across lets me use the opposite side of the core in this end so I was able to get all of these together now funny thing is I was gonna take this apart because I was actually gonna try to set it up so that I have keys on one end which I'm definitely gonna do I really really like that idea but I wanted to at least get one video in showing how many different components you can pack into a core this is about as tight as you can get it I even had to file this side down so that I could fit a spacer so that the bit exchanger does not interact with the saw or file so that it's pretty much about as tight as you can make it and it has quite a lot of functions and it's about four and a half ounces not bad plus great form factor great look I mean you could put a pocket clip right here I mean there's a lot of things you can do with it so that's just real quick and we'll talk about I'll try to show you what this looks like once I get the uh, keys in there um, and then we'll go from there